The other way to provide good fault discrimination is to measure the direction of the current. We do this using directional overcurrent relays. Here are the standard symbols for a directional overcurrent relay. Firstly, we have the ANSI symbol and the IC symbol. For an overcurrent relay to calculate the direction of the current, it needs to measure the voltage as well. This is done via the connection to the system voltage transformer. Here we have the typical feeder circuit from before. This time we've connected a voltage transformer to the relay, with a ratio of 11,000 volts to 230 volts. Different utilities have different standards but it is common to set current flowing from P1 to P2 as forward current. And current flowing from P2 to P1 as reverse current. Let's now set our directional relay to 1.2 for the current pickup and to operate in the forward direction only. Let's now close the circuit breaker. Let's now apply fault on the feeder. As we can see, the relay trips the circuit breaker instantaneously at 1920 amps. Let's now reset the circuit breaker. Let's now apply a fault to the buzz bar. The current pickup has come in at 1920 amps. But as the current is in the reverse direction, the relay does not operate. <laughs> 